Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio. It is time for the March flip for the Tangle a Day calendar book. I have been trying to keep up with this as best I can. There was a point where I got about four days behind and I got caught up. So now I am caught up. This is being filmed on the 1st of March and I've got it all caught up. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> all right, so let me, wait, let me bring you in closer so you can see them. This one is made of very tiny lines and I cheated and drew the flower and then did the lines up to the pencil mark. This was done with a 0 .005 micron pen. This I did measure out the squares. I tried to get them, I think they're yeah, a quarter of an inch square this way and this way. These are willy-nilly, but I like them. I like this kind of line work. All right. Then we have the fourth, fifth, and sixth. And I have to say the fifth, I like the fifth, but I should have done something else to kind of color in the background. I'm not sure if doing it all in black is such a great idea, but you know, hindsight's 2020. I saw somebody do this on Instagram and decided that I needed to do it. So not only did I do it here, but I also did it in my doodle journal. I've done this one before. I like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought everybody was done for the day. Evidently, they're not. I really love doing these, and I like adding pencil to them so that they look more rounded or more oval-shaped. I really love the way those look, and I never get tired of making them. They really are a lot of fun. I'm sorry, I'm going to turn this tablet off so that it doesn't keep dinging. Okay. And then I'm, I took a ruler and I spread these out. I think these are, again, a quarter of an inch um, apart, and these are half an inch so they don't come exactly, this is not exactly a half an inch at the end. So they're, that's one inch, two, I think the squares are two and a half inches. Well, I say that, let me just be sure. Oop, put the ruler the right way there, girly. No, they are two and um, let me do one where I can actually read it. Oh yeah, they are two and a half. No, wait, two and three quarters. There's three quarters, there's one. There's one half and there's three quarters. So they are two and, two and three quarters across. So now that I actually measured it and know that, <laughs> I understand why this is a little off. <laughs> okay, so there's seven, eight, nine. We have 10, 11, and 12. I was inspired by nature with these two. I love making these. I like flowers and, and the things where I can color in the black. For some reason, that really appeals to me. I find it very relaxing coloring in backgrounds. This one was easy to do, no problem. I did have to use a ruler in a couple places on it because I thought maybe some straight lines for a change would be good. I like this. I don't think there's anything in here I don't like. There's some that I like more than others. So. This one's a special because it's a double one, and I may go back and color in some of the areas in black because it's, I think you can't see this well enough or do some straight lines in the background, anything to make the heart stand out. Um, the 13th of February is my wedding anniversary, and then the next day is Valentine's Day, so that's why this one is a rare double. Then I needed something that was pretty plain to take my mind off all of this. And then I did this one, and I've done this one in the past before. Then we have the 16th, 17th, and 18th. The 16th, I noticed that I'd done it in January, but evidently it's one that I really like doing because that's my second time in this book to do it. This one, I've never done in here before, and I struggled with it. I think I probably should have done it on a piece of paper before I put it in here, so I... Uh, I would better understand the dynamics of putting it together. I saw, I think I saw this one in someone else's tag book, or tag book, Tangle a Day calendar book, and decided that I really liked it. 
And then I pinned it on Pinterest too. I just thought this was very feminine and airy and free-flowing. I, I really like this one. I think that probably might be one of my favorites for the month of February. All right. Then we have 1920 and 21. And did I tell you how much I love black coloring? <laughs> it's not too obvious here, is it? <laughs> this one was easy to do. This one was easy, but I don't know. It doesn't have a lot of panache to it, but it's okay. And this one, I have made this thing a million times, but I must have been distracted when I did it because it does not look like the original that I've done two or three times. But, you know, it is what it is. It's done. Let's, all right. All right, 22, 23, and 24. I've done 24 before. 23 was to mimic one. I can't remember if they called it pansies, what the pattern was. Mine did not come out anything like the one that I saw on Pinterest. It's okay. It's all right. But um, I think I might need to practice this one a little bit more. And this one I've done many, many times. And I like it because when you color in here, it gives it um, a little more depth. This, you have to do some kind of shading with it or you don't understand that it is going downstairs. This one was fun because I really had to concentrate. Go up, 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 up. So they may be a little wonky right here, but these, I was watching Netflix and trying to concentrate on Netflix and do this at the same time. And evidently I cannot watch TV and doodle at the same time for stuff that like this. Right, then we have 25, 26, and 27. I love doing these. And yes, they have some pencil shading on them. These are books on a bookshelf. I just happened to be flipping back through some old journals that I had done doodling in, and I remembered about the books on the bookshelf. I love the books on the bookshelf. This one was new. I've never done this one before, and I like doing this one. I need more practice, but I really think this one is is a good pattern and it showed and uh, I think I, I got it off of Pinterest it showed all the variations you can use this with and I really did like it then we have the 28th this is on the this came with the, the book so um, I was watching TV <laughs> while I was doing this and somewhere <laughs> while I was doing it, I went from using no black in between to some black. And then, wow, there's a lot of black. You know, you just have those days. All right, so that is it for the month of February. I will be back in a month to do the March flip. I hope that you enjoy seeing these. I wanted Jennifer to see that I am using the book and I try to stick to using it every single day. I did, like I said, I did four in one day because I got a little distracted over some heavy filming time that I had commitments there I had to fulfill. And when I did, I got very behind. And I came to a revelation while I was doing this. I was such a snob. In the beginning of the book, it says, write down the names of the patterns. What I should have done is exactly what it said. I should have made myself a little sheet of paper with all the names of the patterns and then looked them up every time I did do a month to see if I've duplicated anything. If you know the names of the patterns, then you'll know not to duplicate it. If I duplicate stuff, then that's one, ex one day in the calendar year. I didn't learn anything. All I did was duplicate something from another month and... While it is honing the skill, it did not teach me a new skill. And that's why I'm doing this, is because I want to try new things that I've never done before. To challenge myself, to not always make all my doodles look exactly the same. Oh, I love this one right here. Just love this one. So girly. And I'm so not girly, but I just love this. Anyway, so I will be back in March to show you the March flip. I hope you, you enjoy it and like, share, and subscribe. See you in March. Bye, guys.